Welcome to Electro Online. Have you ever been out camping in the desert and you forgot your cooking stove and you wonder that you can just go to the road and crack open an egg and maybe a little oil on the road, you can actually fry an egg on the road because it's so hot? Well, let's go find out to see if that's indeed the case. Can you fry an egg on the desert road in the summer? So we're going to need to make some assumptions. So let's say that since the sun, at, when the sun is directly beating down on the, on the surface of the earth, and of course at the parallel where the sun is directly perpendicular to the surface and that would be like in the Sahara Desert maybe or maybe in close to the Mojave Desert um, then the the heat that the sun deposits on the earth is about 1361 watts per square meter but some of it is reflected by the atmosphere scattered out uh, not all of it gets down to the surface if it's over the ocean some of it of course is lost through evaporation but in the desert it is possible that the road could receive as much as a thousand watts per square meter okay so let's assume that that's the case here let's also assume that the emissivity is equal to one so it's a very dark blacktop road and let's say that the heat loss is a is only through radiation and not through any other means all right so all that taken into account what would be the temperature of the road and would we then be able to fry that egg? Let's find out. We're starting with the equation that dq dt is equal to E sigma surface area times T to the fourth power. So what we're going to do here is figure out the temperature of that road is. So we're going to rewrite the equation that temperature to the fourth power is equal to dq dt divided by E sigma A, and then we take the fourth root of both sides, so T is equal to the fourth root of dQ dt, all divided by E sigma and A. So what are the units and what are the numbers we're going to plug into this equation? So this is equal to the fourth root of dQ dt. Well, if it receives a thousand watts per square meter, it's going to re-radiate that thousand watts per square meter. And so what we're looking for is that equilibrium temperature at which the incoming radiation, a thousand watts per square meter, equals the outgoing radiation of a thousand watts per square meter. In the morning, when the road is cool, it will receive more heat from the sun than it radiates back out. The temperature of the road will then rise until the two are equal to each other. All right, so that will then be an outgo outflow of a thousand watts per square meter divided by E, which we said was equal to a 1, sigma, which is going to be 5.67 times 10 to the minus 8 watts per meter squared divided by Kelvin to the fourth power. Extend these out a little bit more. And then the surface area. Well, since this is 1,000 watts per square meter, we then need to have the radiation going back up of 1 meter squared so that they cancel each other out. There we go. And now we're ready to find the temperature of that road. And of course, that will be in Kelvin. So let's see. So we have 1,000 divided by 5.67 e to the 8 minus. And now we take the square root and the square root again. And we end up with 364 Kelvin. 364 Kelvin. Of course, if we then convert that to Celsius, and we have to subtract 273. When we do that, this is equal to 91 degrees Celsius. All right, is that hot enough? Well, certainly, if you take your hand and you put it on the road and it's 91 degrees Celsius, you are going to burn your hand. So we put a little cooking oil on that, we crack open an egg, but then we realize when we put a, a frying pan on a stove, we have a flame underneath it, that frying pan gets a whole lot hotter than 91 degrees Celsius. It probably gets several hundred degrees Celsius. But certainly at 91 degrees Celsius, if you're patient enough, if you take a long enough time, that egg will eventually fry. It may take five, well, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes, I don't know. It's worth a try. Maybe one day we'll drive out to the desert and give it a try to see if we can indeed cook an egg on the road. It looks like it should be possible. Well, that's how we know. That's how it's done. Looks like we need to make a trip to the desert. <laughs> uh, no, when it's really hot on a summer day. What the asphalt is black enough? Well, we'll find a newly paved asphalt road. Why don't you just paint it black? <laughs> paint it black. <laughs> we'll put a black. 
All right, that's our next vacation. You have such romantic vacation for me. <laughs> we'll find a luxury hotel near a black road in the desert. Are still here with them? <laughs>